Well, hello there, my friends. Amy Freeze reporting to you today on Wednesday, October the 9th, 2013, uh, for another video installation of my post Iron Man Wisconsin journey. Hey, I'd like to give a real quick shout out to my husband. Happy birthday, baby. Thanks for being so awesome. All right, don't throw up. Blech. All right, so I have a special little treat for you today. I am on my taper week for the Chicago Marathon, which is this Sunday, the 13th of October. And I was talking with Josh uh, while I was volunteering or while we were volunteering for the Lakefront Marathon this past weekend. So Josh, thank you very much for this suggestion. So here you go. So this is the last time you're gonna see my face during this video because I'm gonna show you what I'm eating from today on out. So here we go, I'm gonna turn the camera over. All right, so this is it. Yeah, this is this is getting fancy right here. Actually, let me, let me make sure this is right for you. Okay, so all I did was a quick diagram from Wednesday all the way to Sunday. All right, so here, we'll take Wednesday first. Let me come over here. So this morning I had a coffee with whole milk, I had Greek yogurt and granola with a little bit of fruits. For lunch, I'm gonna have a salad with some chicken. I'm more than likely gonna have some apple with almond butter for my snack, and then steamed veg with pork chop and some fruit for dessert. Okay, and Thursday, I'm gonna have the same thing for breakfast that I did on on today, Wednesday. But I'm gonna have a Lara bar for my snack. I'm gonna have some sushi with rice, and then more than likely I have that apple again with the almond butter. My neighbor has a Macintosh apple tree. Oh boy, so, so good, so good. Uh, and then for dinner tomorrow, I'm gonna have leftovers because I don't wanna have to cook all the time. All right, Friday, I'm having breakfast with my friend Janet. But see, I'm so used to having uh, granola and Greek yogurt that I forgot that I was having breakfast. So I had to do a quick little uh, change there. But I'll tell you, whenever we go to a Greek place, I always have leftovers. So I get a three egg omelet with veggies we have some feta cheese in there, maybe bacon, maybe ham, we'll see. But I always have leftovers, so that's what I'm gonna have for my lunch. And then for my snack, I'll have some grapes, because I'm gonna go grocery shopping today. And then, here we go. Thursday, I'm gonna have some gluten-free pasta with chicken and veg, or sweet potato with some pork chops and veggies, lots of veggies. Now, I'm a firm believer of doing my carb loading two nights before, because your body needs more time to let all of that carbohydrates, and especially if you have some fats in there, metabolize. So you wanna totally fill those glycogen stores in your muscles and your liver, and that happens more so and better if you do it two nights before. Digestion is much better too. Then on Saturday, here we go. So Saturday I'm gonna get up and I'm going to make my gluten-free bread, or I'm sorry, toast my gluten-free bread with my almond butter, half a banana and some cinnamon, and then eat my lar bar. Now I'm actually gonna take my lar bar with me as a snack because we're heading down to Chicago from Milwaukee taking the train. Now I'm pretty sure we're gonna have lunch someplace so I'm planning on maybe a stir fry, or maybe some gluten-free um, pasta or bread or a sandwich, and then I'll definitely take my bonk breaker bars with me for a nice little snack. Now. There's some good fats and some uh, good carbohydrate balance there, so that'll be my snack. And it's convenient, because we'll be at the expo. And then we're going back to the hotel room and just chilling out. We're gonna be watching the Kona Championships in Hawaii for Ironman. And then, very important, we're gonna have an early, early dinner. So typically, I eat dinner around six or seven. I'm gonna really advocate for a dinner around five, 5.30, and that's gonna contain some lean protein, some veggies and just a little bit of fat. Um, yeah, I've learned not a lot of olive oil to, uh, the night before a marathon. Okay, we'll just leave it that. And then Sunday morning, here we go. Race day, I'm gonna have exactly the same thing I did on Saturday because it's convenient, it travels well, and it fills me up. So I'll do that, I'll do my gluten-free bread, my almond butter, my half banana with cinnamon. I'll take a lar bar with me so that I have something to munch on while we're waiting in corrals. And then about 15 minutes before we go out for the race, I will take a gel. But I wanted to give you an idea of some of the things that I take with me when I actually race. So on my person, I will have a lar bar, some cliff gels. I'll probably take about two or three because, uh, you know, you change your mind about what you want to eat, what you're in the mood for. I will take water on the course. I will also eat some nanners, aka bananas. And then I'll have a bonk breaker just in case. Now, I'm not really planning on taking the bonk breaker, or I'm sorry, to eat the bonk breaker, but I like to have it just in case. Uh, Post-race, some chocolate milk and water. 
and then uh, maybe about an hour or two after some protein and carbs. So I went over this pretty quickly. Now this is a snapshot of what I'm going to do. If you want to know how you can make your own race day meal, log on to my website, which is fearlessnutritionllc.com. And when you sign up for my newsletter, you get a free, 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 free race training nutrition guide. And that gives you the same strategies, yay mother nature, that uh, I created this whole plate from. Hey, and if you like this, feel free to totally copy it. Hey, what do they say? Uh, um, 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 copying is the best form of flattery. Yeah, imitation is the best form of flattery. Imitate away, imitate away. But if you have any questions, let me know, my friends. You can find me on Facebook or on Twitter, Amy Freeze, F R I E S E, or you can shoot me an email at fearlessnutritionllc at gmail.com. And until we meet again, my friends, run, 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 swim, and bike too. Um, but most importantly, remember to eat smart. Move strong and live fearless. Here we go. Amy Freeze checking out for another post Ironman video journey. Take care, my friends. Bye bye.